find themselves, even men too, use them to beautify themselves. The earrings, the rings, the nose jewels, the, uh, the chains, the bracelets, the uh, palming of the hair, attachment in the hair, the wivon, and all these things that, the painting of your body, all these things that you use to think to beautify yourself. The Lord commanded the children of Israel to strip those things off. Even the ones they collected from Egypt, clear them off from your body. When they arrived at Mount Sinai, that is it. I hate seeing jewelry, earrings, rings, nose rings, chains, bracelets, beads. In the body of my people, I hate seeing women using trousers, Pants, slats. I hate seeing my creatures going about in nakedness. Did the, did the trousers, pants, actually protect the woman from cold? Oh, does the trouser, pants, pant, actually protect the women from cold? Do this keep the women from, the women using them from dying? Warn your children not to submit themselves to, to learn the wicked curriculum enforced in schools. Let the children reject those evil lessons without timidity or fear. Do you know that believers have authority to bind or loose on earth and heaven will establish it? Why are you afraid to make decrees against these sinners and their laws? The Lord starts blaming you again. When you stand, I back you up, but you're not standing. You're not standing. You're not standing because even you have been weakened by the system. But the Lord is recovering you now. In Matthew chapter 18, verse 18 to 20. Verily I say unto you, Whatsoever ye shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. And whatsoever ye shall loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Again I say unto you that if two of you shall agree on earth as touching anything that they shall ask, it shall be done for them of my Father which is in heaven. For where two or three are gathered together in my name, he there am I in the midst of them. Can you look left and look right? You are not able to see, but Jesus is here. Because we are gathered in his name. Make a decree. When you gather together, all those things torturing one another, bring them to your chapter meetings. Make decrees. The Lord said he will sanction them. I hate seeing my people in nakedness. Can you see people in tattoos? They make tattoos to be clothed. Is it, they are out of their minds. Out of their minds. I had one such person out of her mind. Took the mother to court and said, my mother is a black woman. I don't want to have anything to do with black mother. Did you hear the story? How many of you heard the story? Can you see? It's the food they have eaten. The, the water they have been drinking. The thing entered into their brain. Just like that. They, they have been affected. Pollutions everywhere. The mind is polluted. The mind is turned upside down. Huh. The devil just charged the nation with iniquity. That the thoughts of the heart, the imagination of the heart of the citizens are evil continually. Pity the sinful world. Tell my children in Horemoth to pity the world. 
The world, including America, and every other nation is under my feet and under their feet also as children of God. Tell them I am the one that will pay their debt in America. Let them tell the world loudly and clearly that I have raised Horemo, Holiness Revival Movement. I've raised it up as a vessel of honor to use in serving them from sin through the preaching and practice of true gospel message. My brothers and sisters in Holiness Revival Movement, the Lord has chosen us. Yeah. It is a plan he made at the beginning of the earth. Before the foundation of the world, I would say. That towards the end of time, he would raise up a, a movement to finalize the work before he comes. Yeah. And we are the ones. The Lord is advertising holiness revival movement. He is not a man. We were in Cross River State in Nigeria. And in a crusade, the coordinator there was telling the people, yes, welcome to holiness revival movement. Welcome to holiness revival movement. This is above all denominational churches. And God's desire is that all churches should come under it. I sat down there. I was folding. I was folding myself. I said, "Hey, look at this man. You, you, you are bringing trouble to me." <laughs> I said, "You are telling these people like this. They will say, 'Hey, we are proud.' They say you are proud. And if the judges will pray, how do we do this work again?" I was just. So when we came to, back to the hotel, we brought up the matter. I just brought up the matter. I wanted to hear what the others say. The others had to say. This one said this. This one says this. Mommy Linda also said this. This one said, eh, where are you people? Why are you daily telling them? It is when they have come into the chapter meeting before you can now tell them and say, okay, this one is above church. You can say it inside. I don't allow outsiders to hear. But you just begin to tell them there, and these people just came newly like that. You are telling them all those. The following day, the Lord, the following time, I think it's for immediately the following day or two days after, the Lord came out. What were you people saying? <laughs> if you have a good thing, will you not publicize it? I am the I am holiness revival movement. Go and tell the people. Why were you telling that person the coordinator not to speak it? You don't know what is holiness movement. What my father has chosen to do in this movement is yet to come. Then he brought out because I speak earnestly about the grace I have found to be righteous and holy. He said, when my servant was telling you people that he is righteous, he's holy, uh, some people were kicking, kicking against it, saying, look at him, how can you be righteous and holy? Is it that my word is a lie? That my blood cannot make people clean and holy? Then you're following after a lie. No example. Then you're following after a lie. Then nobody is righteous. Then my sacrifice is in vain. The Lord is not thinking the way we think. Say this thing. Don't mind what churches are saying. If they were performing, the Lord would have spoken also about them. Are we doing anything to bribe the Lord? No. <laughs> it is that we do always the things that please him. Go to the congregations and see whether you find people like this. Coming to confess deep things openly. Go and find out. Doing restitution to the dead without fear. 
going back to the government and said, no, you must say, 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 handle this matter. And they're wondering at them. One of our brothers in Europe, he went to the police station and reported himself. He said, the name I'm using now, the document I'm using now is not my own. I bought it from somebody. And uh, they say, yes, what do you want us to do? No, I've come to, <laughs> I have come to report myself that whatever you will do, I am available. Just here, here am I. They say, do you, do you, is, uh, do you Your wife, they said yes. They collected the number of the wife. I said, Are you feeling fine? <laughs> How do you feel? <laughs> Please, they're touching. <laughs> How do you feel? They, they called the wife and said, Please come. I hope your husband is rest. <laughs> Your husband needs to rest. Something is wrong upstairs. <laughs> How can somebody carry himself and come and meet us if something is so wrong with him upstairs? Praise the Lord! It's because the people are determined to go to heaven and they carry restitution to any land. And that embarrasses the devil. They vomit every food Satan puts into their stomach. They vomit it out. And God is happy. One of these times the Lord came to us. He was saying, thank you, my son. Now all over the world, people have a working out to look for me. In earlier time, I've been crying. The devil has been mocking me. Because nobody bothered about heaven. I would walk and walk, I would walk and walk, I would walk a lot on one man. I would walk a lot on one man. But by your preaching, now I can hear cry all over the world. Oh God, sanctify me. Oh God, heal me. God, I want to go to heaven. He said, I am, my, my father is happy with you. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. You know, God made man, so he knows how to behave like man too, so that we can understand him better. He's happy with you. Happy how you're conforming. How the, you're changing. Your angels are beholding you with, with, with amassment. And the devil is very angry with you. You have frustrated Satan a lot. He thought he has gotten everybody. That's what Satan said. You didn't remember that he said we should not come to Europe? Yeah. That a people that he has already finished with them, <laughs> we want to come and set them free. You will not come. It's a liar. Yeah. But Jesus Christ came. When Jesus came, he started running. Uh, you who say, I, you, do you know my name? I am Lucifer. I am Satan and I love my name. And say, Jesus is coming, you are running. <laughs> you must run. <laughs> I say, you must run. <laughs> and Jesus said, don't worry. Where I have people, I will send you there. We, we may be denied visa because the Lord has another plan. I miss going to Europe because the Lord wanted to visit the world in another dimension through the Methodist revelation. That revival is going on. It's, the whole world will be, is being hit now by the work God is doing. Do you know something? Up to Saturday next week, last week in the morning, I didn't know I may come here. 
with ticket bought, with everything ready. I went into malaria problem for two weeks that refused to be healed. Refused. I'm telling you. Everything went to hospital. They put drip on me. I took five different malaria treatments. It didn't work. Uh -uh. On Saturday morning, the journey was to be Sunday. I said, we may need to go and defer this ticket. And push it forward to see whether by Tuesday would I have gotten some relief. Because you, are, you won't carry malaria to America. They will ask you, ma what? <laughs> you are the one to finish malaria. Then they quarantine you. Then the program has finished now. The program will not be done again. It was a serious case. So while I said that, okay, let's see. If tomorrow morning I can't recover, we will go to the airport and postpone this journey. Or rather, push it off for Tuesday, Wednesday, whether it will work. Otherwise, you people should be patient. But then when I said so, something said, why don't you pray? Then sometimes we forget to do our legitimate things. Huh. I said, okay, let's go into prayer. The prayer of less than one hour ended the matter. Immediately after the prayer, I just knew I was traveling to America. Amen. Satan knew that I would be reading something here before him. <laughs> and he didn't want it. He didn't want it. When we took off from uh, Nya Nya Church, trying to, we wanted to visit our sister before we got to the airport. It was in the night. We missed our way. We couldn't, we didn't even know where we were inside Abuja City. The driver was just going, where were we? I hope we will reach airport before the time. I'm telling you, we got lost like that. Ah, whose route are we even following now? We just followed or let's be going. We could not see anywhere it was night. If you see the, the, what Satan thought he did, he fell. That's why he's looking tired now. He's, not, he's sitting quiet. You think that Satan is just sitting quiet? He has tried, tried, it didn't work. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Tell my children in Horemore to pity the world. That's what the Lord is saying. In Job, chapter 22, verse 26 to 28. Okay, sorry. Before that, okay, let's read that. Job, chapter 22, verse 26 to 28. For then shall thou make thy prayer unto him, and he shall hear thee, and thou shalt pay thy vows. Thou shalt pay thy vows. Thou shalt also decree a thing, and it shall be established unto thee. And the light shall shine upon thy ways. You will decree a thing, because you are my child, I will hear you and take open doors for you. Pity the world. Go and preach. The book of Mark, chapter 16, verse 15 to 20. And he said unto them, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. But he that believeth not shall be damned. And these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name they shall cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. They shall take up serpents. And if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover. So then, 
after the Lord had spoken unto them, he was received up into heaven and sat on the right hand of God. And they went forth and preached everywhere, the Lord walking with them and confirming the word with signs following. And let us all say, Amen. Amen. Now, this revelation is a sign that God brought up to confirm this ministry, to confirm his presence with us. Amen? Amen. You know, I trust the Lord steered up our sister who came here and gave the same message in a brief, in a brief of seeing demons, seeing demons ruling, seeing animals driving the cars, seeing all this. It's these things have been there in the mouth of 12 three witnesses. They serve to confirm. I felt bad about the immorality in schools as one of the sisters came. It is so terrible. Life has gone to animal stage. Go and preach this gospel. The Lord will walk together with you. He will confirm your word with signs following. I, I saw Pastor Paul Rica running from place to place and from one group of people to another with the gospel message and was serving the people. Some people were mocking at him saying, is he thinking he can serve all the people? While surrounding demons were shooting many arrows against him. The Lord said, tell my son that what he is passing through is an attack of the devil. Nothing will happen to him. Yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. In the book of Isaiah, chapter 54, verse 17. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. And every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment, thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is of me, saith the Lord. Amen. 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 So, we don't need to be afraid. Of course, the Lord showed that some occultic people would be here in this meeting, but this, there's nothing to be afraid about. They need to also come to be saved. Must they remain occultic? But I have warned them the first day that the Lord said, tell man to be careful, otherwise I will smite him. So when you are here, behave yourself. Receive Jesus. Repent of your sins. Otherwise, the time has come that judgment must begin. Yes, among God's people. In the book of, okay, I've read it. Now, Deeper Life Bible Church in America. Pray for Deeper Life Bible Church in America. The devil has threatened them and they are afraid to preach my word. They have guns in their hands but are unable to shoot. They have the doctrines of truth but cannot preach them. Many of their members are under pretense and captivity. Materialism has taken them over. Their members lie for money and for documents. The heads of their pastors are turned upside down. They change my laws for their members through human reasoning. How many of the apostles and members in America are going to heaven? Why should, why should members of Holiness Revival Movement submit to deeper life and obey their denominational rules? When I was in the world as a man, though I went to the synagogues and the temple for worship, I did not submit to any such denominational human rules. I served my father and walked 
for him as a free person, being subject to the rules of God and righteousness. Don't submit yourselves to denominational rules that hinder free, unbiased worship and service of God. Serve me freely and preach my word. As I said, maybe I don't know why God chose to bring about deeper life. I think I have reason. Deeper life has been a good church. The, this holiness movement is a child of deeper life. Amen? Amen? It came out of deeper life. So, but then they are fading away. How? Not in population. Not in human glory, but in the sight of God. The doctrines are no more observed. Righteousness is, de is decaying. There's is, is, is fading away. You can't see a deeper life and say, oh, this is, a, this is a Christian. That day has gone. And the Lord is saying this. I know it will reach them. Many will be, recover themselves. Amen. It will bring revival among them. Amen. And the Lord will still find many people there for heaven. Amen. The Lord is a wise God. He does not do anything for nothing. He has a reason to doing this. But he can also steer persecution too. Ah, you mean this is what that young man has come to do? Let them be informed he's not a young man. What we are saying now is the word of truth. The Lord Jesus Christ that they are serving gave this revelation. If they don't believe revelation, I believe it. And the Lord has spoken. Who but must speak? The trumpet has sounded. Who will not respond? The lion has roared. Who will not run? The Lord of hosts, the God of the church has spoken. Who will not but speak? It's better any man should blame me than God should blame me. That I have said this thing and you hide it from the people. He that knoweth what to do and does not do it to him, it is a sin. In Galatians chapter 5, verse 1, stand fast therefore in the liberty wherewith Christ hath made us free and be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. In 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 23, ye are bought with a price. Be not ye the servants of men. I think another reason why the Lord brought this is many people that he served them through holiness movement go to deeper life. Because since there's no Sunday worship, and since we are speaking with the voice of deeper life in doctrine, they feel that's where they will get it. That's how they will continue it. But then when they go there, they close the door against them. They close the door. Why are you going there for? No, don't go to that place. The man is in sin. The man is in rebellion. They go to confuse the people, block them, so that the members now say, hey, okay, we have the same doctrine. The presence of God matters. It depends on who preaches them. You get it now. It depends on who is preaching the gospel, who has the authority, the aroma of truth in his life. He that has sent by God has God's word. How many are sent? That you will just go and get lost there. And now here is the Lord saying, it is for your dumb, for your damnation, to go and, and deceive you and you stay there and, and don't come out again. That's what the Lord is speaking. Be bought about this. He said you are bought with a price. You are not, you are not, a, you are not servants of men. Stand in the liberty. He said when I came to the earth, there were, there were synagogues. I wish I could visit. There were, I could go to, synagogue, to the temple, but human corrupt laws. I never submitted to them. Corrupt human laws. Where are you, are you, not, where are you in fear? 
Why are you in fear? It is for your harm that you are fearing man and turning your back at Jesus. It's like that the black American that said, I, I don't want a black mother. The one that gave birth to you, the, whoever went and confused your brain, you say you don't want her. Because maybe uh, your, your skin, you change your skin or your skin by nature changed. You are now looking somehow. Now you feel, ah, no, I, I don't want a black mother. They told you that you don't need holiness movement. You agreed. It's for your harm. The creator of, the law, of mankind, the owner of the church, the bishop of the church says, it is for your harm to submit to the laws of man. Because many people would have known Jesus more but deeper life blocked them. Worldwide. Worldwide. Every country we go, the, com the tension is there. It's like that. For what reason? No, we don't take revelation. Are you the owner of the church? The owner of the church gives revelation. What is your reason that you don't take it? Are you the owner of the church? Did you die for the church? Did you check and know that it is contrary to the word of truth? Or it just our own denominational rules? That's what the Lord is saying. Don't follow it. Don't follow denominational rules. They block the God's ways. They block God's people. How many would have enjoyed this message and be transformed? Rules of denomination block them. And you say Jesus will not talk as if he's a respecting person? Have not the faith of our Lord Jesus with respect of person. Don't respect person. Because the man will die and you will be left. And but he has led you away from God. You will suffer the consequence. Perfecting holiness in the fear of God. Second Corinthians chapter 7 verse 1. Having therefore these promises, dearly beloved, let us cleanse ourselves from all filthiness of the flesh and spirit, perfecting holiness in the fear of God. Job chapter 34, verse 31 to 32, we'll read it together. Job 34. 31 to 32, 1, 2, go. Surely it is made to be said unto God, I have borne chastisement, I will not offend any more. That which I see not, teach thou me. If I have done iniquity, I will do no more. Let Horemon members, be ready to break every ungodly law and speak freely and openly for me and I will back them up. By this, they will save some. Those in Horemon who are still in chains should know that one sin or the other still remains in them that needs confession, repentance, restitution, and cleansing of my blood. Let them arise and walk out their own salvation quickly because there's no more time. They must stop compromise of every kind and live as I have prescribed. Hebrews chapter 9, verse 14 and 15. How much more shall the blood of Christ who through the eternal spirit offered himself without spot to God, purge your conscience from dead works to serve the living God. And for this cause, he is the mediator of the New Testament that by means of death, for the redemption of the transgressions that were under the law, under the First Testament, they which are called might receive the promise of eternal inheritance. The blood of Jesus is there for you, a fountain, ready to cleanse you, perfect you, in Jesus' name. Amen. Conclusion. 
Mark chapter 13, verse 34 to 37. Watch ye therefore, for ye know not when the master of the house cometh at even or at midnight, or at the cock crowing, or in the morning, lest coming suddenly he find you sleeping. And what I say unto you, I say unto all, watch. What the Lord said to exhort his children in Horemo, or Holiness Revival Movement, worldwide, he is saying it to all Christians who desire to go to heaven. You should apply this message to yourself. God is no respecter of persons. The Lord accepts whoever comes to him with a true heart and serves him in truth, righteousness, and holiness. In the book of Luke chapter 12, verse 29. And seek not ye what ye shall eat, or what ye shall drink, neither be ye of doubtful mind. For all these things do the nations of the world seek after, and your Father knoweth that ye have need of these things. But rather, seek ye the kingdom of God, and all these things shall be added unto you. Fear not, little flock, for it is your Father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. The Lord has told you what you should look for. You have not come to America for money. You have not come to America for honor, not honor in your village. You have come to America for the Lord. Some of you, the Lord's decision over you will be go back to your country. I have things for you to do in my end time plan in, for you in your country. Some of you, the Lord will say, remain here. Be my workforce to save some in America. But I don't know which one is going to be your category. The Lord will determine your category. Fear not. Don't do anything out of fear. Take sufficient counseling. Don't say, oh, I'm living in America now. I'm living in America. We made you arrive. Say, what happened? I'm living. I am living. Take sufficient counsel. And have time to pray and find out the way of the Lord. Even if the Lord says, go, you don't have a document. You have document. You don't have document. Or even if you have documents. You still have to follow processes. And that will require counseling. Without counsel, purposes are disappointed. But in multitude of counselors, they are established. Do much praying to determine your faith, what God wants of you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Fear not, for it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom whom I love, I chastise, I rebuke. That's what the Lord says. This chastisement has come to you because he loves you. Let a friend smite me. It is better than the kisses of an enemy. Faithful are the wounds of a friend. These words have come very hard. It will affect many in America, even outside America, even back home. People shall hear this. And many who have thought, I'm going to America, the dream shall die. But that would not stop people coming anyway. How many people will this message reach? And yet, the Lord has his will to send more people that some, by coming here, they can be converted. If they remain there, they won't be converted. And the Lord may allow them to come. When they pass through the sufferings of this place as prodigal children, is then their eyes will open. How many higher servants of my fathers have food to eat? 
and to spare, but I am perishing in this place. Even the foot of pigs I cannot find. It is then he will say, I will arise and go back home and meet my father and settle with him. So many people, it is in their coming, they get born again. How many of you were born again when you came to America? Raise up your hand. Uh, can you see prodigal sons and daughters? <laughs> can you see that? That is the wisdom of God. Determine his course over your life and follow it. Finally, Revelation chapter 22, verse 12 to 16. And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me to give every man according as his work shall be. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they may have right to the tree of life and may enter in through the gates into the city. For without are dogs and sorcerers and homongers and murderers and idolaters and whosoever loveth and maketh a lie. Now can we say the last verse, I, Jesus, one, two, go. I, Jesus, have sent my angel to testify unto you these things in the churches. I am the root and the offspring of David and the bright and morning star. End of message. Rise up. I never knew that you honor me this way, my Lord. Jesus Christ. To tell me these things I say. You will honor me, yes, my Lord. You will honor me, thank you, Lord. Oh, yes, you honor me this way. You have honored me this way to tell me these things I say. Yes, my Lord, Jesus Christ, I never knew that you will love me this way, my Lord. I never knew that you love me this way. I never knew you love me this way. You have loved me this way to tell me these things. Say yes. Oh, Jesus. Jesus Christ. I never knew you protect me this way. I never knew you protect me this way. I never knew you protect me this way. You protect me this way to tell me these things, my Lord. Oh, my Lord. Jesus Christ. I never knew you would deliver me this way. 
I never knew you would deliver me this way. I never knew you will deliver me, Lord. You have delivered me, Lord, to tell me these things I say. Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Mm. I never knew that you will bless me this way, my Lord. I never knew that you will bless me this way. I never knew you will bless me this way. You have blessed me this way. I say thank you, Lord, my Lord. I am blessed. Thank you, Lord. My life now is a testimony. Testimony, yes, 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 testimony. My life is now a testimony. My life is now a testimony. Testimony to the glory of... Okay, your life shall be... People shall learn of God through you. Yes, brother. Sing it, sister. Your life shall be a testimony. Glory of Jesus. Oh, yes. Testimony. Jesus, worship him. Your life now is a testimony. Glory of the Lord. Oh, yeah, testimony. Yes, sister, God loves you. Oh, yeah, testimony. Open your mouth and thank the Lord. Open your mouth and thank the Lord.
Jesus' name we pray. We appreciate your eternal love. You say, with everlasting love, I have loved you. With loving kindness, I have drawn you. We are seeing it. This is special. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> God, we want to be to you better than we are today. We want you to look to holiness movement and cause your will perfectly, 100%, to be done in holiness movement. Grant this, my brethren, entrance into heaven. As they go into the world, let them go, go with padlocks. To open the door of the key, with the key, we'll go with the key to open the door of the kingdom to people in Jesus' name. Amen. Of course, but look, to lock up the devil everywhere. Amen. Put your power and authority in their lives. Amen. Let fear vanish from their lives. Amen. We will love you. I'm just, you are growing with us. We're looking ahead to see how much more the future shall be with us. We are asking for grace. We are determined to stay with you forever. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Listening to is a production of Holiness Revival Movement Worldwide. Holiness Revival Movement Worldwide is a non-denominational ministry that is given to the propagation of Christ's righteousness and holiness in churches and nations of the world through crusades, revival meetings, production, and spread of holiness literature and materials. For other spiritual materials, messages, or inquiry, contact us on 0813-635-6813 and 0805-683-4323. You can also reach us through our email address, holinessrevivalmovement at gmail.com. God bless you. For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Hallelujah. Jesus, I believe in
I believe 